everyone. Uh, this is my first lightning talk, like the one Gail gave on audio stuff. And uh, I'll be talking about how Nix is better than Docker. And uh, how many of you here know Nix or heard of it? OK. And uh, how many of you use it uh, as a package manager? OK. And uh, as an operating system? Nice. OK. So this is one. OK, I'll be bringing up some old points to you, too. And uh, yeah, the, the years is messed up. I'm not sure why. So yeah, the, this presentation is adapted from the Docker section uh, from the Nix.how website. Uh, it was saying that uh, using Docker to build software from source is not reproducible, secure, or granular. Uh, if you are using Docker files to contain your application, you can use Nix to build your app. Uh, software instead. Now let's talk about uh, how re reproducible Docker is. Well, the, when you, when you, the inputs are not controlled, for example, if you are saying from Ubuntu 18.404, uh, you know, the, the OS and OS can have different patches on top of it, such as the security patches. And uh, you know which commit from the source code is it using? You, you don't know that uh, fr from the different. Uh, yeah, if you are using the using Ubuntu this way, and uh, you will get different outputs with each build because your inputs are different. So the same builds are not necessarily the same if you are using Docker. And uh, is Docker secure? Well. Uh, the file fetches on, there, there's no hash. So you can fetch from the same path from, from a website or your local file system. And uh, it could be a different file, uh, maybe malicious. The internet connectivity is also trusted with, uh, usually trusted, you know, without uh, ver verification. So it, you can open yourself up to supply chain attacks. And uh, is Docker granular? Well, Docker has layers, uh, but uh, it, it provides some level of caching, but not on the individual software components, such as your, the, li the libraries of your dependencies. Uh, Nix, instead, introduces the idea of a derivation, uh, which uh, allows you to have a chain of dependencies, uh, which are uh, sandbox builds, uh, cached in your uh, root next door, and uh, it is a privileged file system, so you cannot just go in there and modify it as a user. So with Nix, uh, you don't need need a base system like a Debian or Alpine to uh, contain your software. Uh, you don't need a snapshot of your file system uh, in each layer, since uh, they, they are just uh, derivations. And uh, they, are, they are just uh, all in the next door. And uh, your software components are isolated, since they are building an isolated sandbox environment. They are granular, because they are, they are all chained in your, your uh, derivation again. And uh, they do, and uh, yeah, they of course they do not depend on your environment or your file system hierarchy. So you know you don't need to worry about your path environment variable. And uh, you know if you are run, if you are if you are having an unexpected uh, thing sim link to to your to your build commands like make. And uh, yeah, you can also create a container on NixOS just by using the. NixOS container create command. OK, and uh, this brings me to the end. Uh, the, this presentation was uh, made uh, starting from 8 PM, because I didn't know I can submit late. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this was made on Beamer. I don't, I don't think I've seen a Beamer presentation so far. 
And yeah, if you want to find me or learn more about Nix or you know uh, Unix stuff in general, I live in a terminal. You can uh, my, I'm uh, Max can dash code on GitHub, and uh, you you can search up Max on UIT, and you can probably find me on LinkedIn. Yeah, that's the end. <laughs>